A heartfelt grassroots recovery underway in Colfax, where the now fully contained river fire destroyed more than 100 homes. Reporter Aaron Heft has more now from Placer County. We are on day three or four of sifting. I'm just trying to find any kind of keepsakes. For Wendy Dougal, it's a labor of love. Her family living on this property for the last 15 years. She and her father are in search of one of the most meaningful things her mom left behind after passing away just a few weeks ago. Looking for the diamonds out of my mom's wedding ring. So it's just like a really slow, laborious process. The river fire catching so many, like the Dougals, off guard. The glow right behind the trees and the billows of smoke just rising like crazy. The river fire, got, I think, caught us all by surprise what it actually did. The support now piling in, but the lack of actual places to stay in Colfax creates its own challenges. Well, everybody on the, in the neighborhood want to do something, you know, but the problem is we don't know what to do. Christian Kinsley and his neighbors helping throw a breakfast this morning just to brighten faces, showing care. We were, you know, so heart torn for our, our friends that lost everything. Thank yous hanging from house to house to all who came to help. With just the generosity of so many people to give what they have given and um, the, the thought of what do I do with it? Where do I start? Downtown, a supply center brimming with essentials, people stopping in. They know that there's better things coming. Like Meredith Lilly, creating this sign, hoping it sparks some joy. I'm hoping for everybody, praying for everybody. The nonprofit Seroptimist put this together for all the fire survivors, organizing this massive show of support made possible by their community. If, if all we do is give them a big hug and give them some support, then they leave with a little bit of a smile on their face and we've done our job. So that when the sifting is done, for the Dougals and the over 100 families in the same shoes, they have something to get them started once again. In Colfax, Aaron Heft, 